We're back once again in the Dungeon of Doom, Quarantine Central. And we're back with another stupid purchase. This time we have a record player from Five Below that wasn't quite $5, but that's okay. So why don't we open it up and see if you can get a functional record player for less than the cost of a lot of records. Let's get started. All right, so what we got here today is a $25 record player, turntable for vinyl record, vinyl record not included. This came from Five Below. I was in there looking for some cheap little, you know, kind of stocking stuff for gifts and that, and came across this. And one other thing, which I'll do in a video later, and I just, I couldn't pass them up. I had to know what in the world was going on. It sure looks like this is one of the, uh, we'll take it apart and take a look, but it sure does look like this is one of the Mac, one of the turntable Macs that uh, Techmoan always talks about the just the cheap Chinese one that you can get for 10 bucks, you know, and put it in whatever box that you want, which is kind of surprising that this is only 25 considering that the, you know, it, the mech itself is almost half that cost. So I don't see how they're making any profit on this unless they got a fantastic deal on those or something. But well, let's look at the box here real quick, see what it says. And uh, then we'll open it up and see what's inside and we'll give it a whirl. Uh, so on this side, the only identification on here is uh, Bass Jacks. Don't, no idea who that is. And it says Analog Series here. I don't know if there's anything under this price tag. Uh, it looks like just a picture of a record. And then down here features turntable platter, turntable split spindle, 45 RPM adapter, tone arm cartridge, tone arm lifter handle, auto stop on and off, RPM speed selector, tone arm holding clip, power on off and volume dial, power indicator, and dust cover. This says, enjoy listening to all your favorite vinyl records on this classic three-speed turntable. With a sleek look and simple controls, a high-quality sound design will be the centerpiece of your listening space. This actually may come in handy for me. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to use this for my best records. I do have quite a few kind of, you know, beat-up ones and that that would probably happily play on this. But... Thing that's interesting about this is it plays 78 records so i do have a few of those laying around so maybe i'll use that with this compatible with 33 45 78 rpm records compatible with 7 10 12 inch records built-in dual driver speaker this is going to be good <laughs> and then the bass jacks logo and then a picture of i don't know That looks interesting. And then the back side of it, same, pretty much same thing without the stuff on the bottom. Compatible with 33, 45, 78, 7, 10, 12, dual speakers. There's that analog series logo again. Again, they really emphasize the vinyl record is not included. And then this side, record player turntable for vinyl record. Same thing on the top, and then specifications on the bottom, and distributed by 1616 Holdings in Philadelphia, made in, made in China, of course. 
So I guess let's go ahead and crack into this and see what comes out of it. I'm going to be honest, my hopes are not high. <laughs> Side, we have the finest Chinese plastic. Oh, in more ways than one. Oh, I think I lost the instructions. I lost the power cable too. Before we get to any of that, why don't we start with the instructions? Focus. Thank you for purchasing the record player turntable for vinyl record. I suppose if you want to read any of this, if you can read any of this, I don't know how clear it's going to come out. You can certainly pause the video. And the backside is blank. Okay. Comes with this little uh, USB cord. I'm going to gas yep not a USB-C USB mini or micro or whatever it is I can never I never remember which one is which that one and then you got these little plastic bumpers on either side And some really just tissue paper. And then you got the record player. Let's see what this lid does. Well, it's kind of interesting. The lid is notched because obviously it's too small. Here, let me grab one of these records. I'm not going to play this because obviously it'll content match, but but it's too small. The body of it's too small to hold the record, so they notch it out so that you can still close the lid on it if you're so inclined while it plays. I'm curious if even if a 10 inch would even fit on that. Well, let's find out. Nope, even the 10 inch sticks out a little bit. There's a little on the arm to, to keep it from moving and shipping that's and there's a clip here too it's interesting that they put both on there but that's okay and you got your tone arm well that's actually pretty nice you move this over I don't know if you can tell or not but that's moving really slow up and down which is good it's got a cover on it too. Here, let me uh, give you a better look at that. So I'm gonna put the lever down. That's better than on some of the better turntables I've seen. So anyhow.
This apparently is your power knob and volume. And then you have a speed selector here of 33, 45, and 78. I don't know if you can see that or not, but And of course, you have your adapter spindle right there for 45 records. And this switch back here is for auto stop. So let's look at the body of this and everything. The top is pretty, pretty solid plastic. Nice, clear. I mean, it, it looks okay. It looks fine. This thing weighs like one ounce, but that's okay. The body of it, of course, is, oh, there goes the toner. That's probably why they have the clip on there. I mean, the, uh, this thing I mean it's plastic but what do you expect for 25 bucks okay well there's a USB plug for power well that's interesting There's no plugs on this. I wonder if this USB out goes to, if you can play it through a computer. I guess I, well, maybe this is it. It's not very long, but let's, Go ahead and plug it in. I don't know if you can hear that or not here. Let me put the microphone down here. It's pretty loud. Anyhow, we'll, why don't we grab a record or something that um, <laughs> won't content match and we'll see how this thing sounds. All right, so the only thing I could find that didn't seem like it would be an instant content match is this Spoon River Journeyman. Record. Um, it's not in the greatest shape as you can see, but should play um so but this one doesn't look like it's got any publishing information on it that may be it may hit a content match i don't know but we'll try it if it does maybe i'll see if i can find something else it's not like you can you know cut a record of a uh, youtube you know stock music or anything although that might be a good idea maybe somebody should do that
that's in there tight. That's good in a way though, because uh, this thing is super cheap. I mean, that is about as thin as you can get, but I mean, it's nice that it holds it in there pretty tight, so. Let's see if I can get this to remove. The slide, I guess, slide. Yep. Okay. All right. Put this up, turn it on. Gotta make sure we're on 45. Set it down. Pretty scratchy. I, it's not terrible. I, it's got a pretty, I mean, you can't tell, obviously, listening through YouTube, it's got a pretty good sound. I, I, speakers sound good. I'm wanting to take this thing apart, see what's in there, see if we can figure out if there's a way to, like, actually add... Um, AUX ports on this or even like speaker jacks so you could plug speakers into it or if it's possible to hit the you know preamped uh, audio signal so that you can put some RCA jacks on the back of it and see if you can like actually hook it up to a you know a stereo system in that but I mean it's probably not worth it but quick addendum to this video this thing has started to cut out on the audio on records that are really loud. It's like it kills the amp on it or something. Let me see if I can get it to work again. Get this up. See? So I guess this one's got to go back. We'll try to we'll uh, try a different one. Hopefully that doesn't content match. But it's only some records I can get it to do it on, and it seems like uh, if it's like recorded at kind of a high level uh, or cut at a high level or whatever, I can only imagine what that Led Zeppelin record would do. Um, but yeah, uh, like I put that other one on, and I played it all the way through. That. Uh, Boone River Journeyman, whatever this one was. Yeah, that one played all the way through, but it was real, you know, quiet, relatively quiet in that. So, I don't know, I think we're going to stop here for this one, and we'll do that in the next video on this. I'll go ahead and um, see if I can find anything else uh, that doesn't have content matching that isn't terrible. Uh, and uh, we'll... Uh, tear into it, see what this thing is made of, and uh, maybe see what we can do to modify it. Uh, if you have any suggestions on this or anything else, leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.